Penicillium is a ubiquitous soil fungus that prefers cool and moderate climates. There are over 300 species of penicillium, and it is perhaps best known as a fungus that produces penicillin, a molecule that has saved countless lives as an antibiotic. Some species of penicillium are used in the production of cheeses, including blue cheese. Penicillium is also used to improve the flavor of some types of hams and sausages. It is also used in the production of a number of important biotechnology-produced enzymes and macromolecules. The fungus is commonly present wherever organic material is available. In addition to the many benefits of penicillium, they are also one of the primary causes of food spoilage. Many species of penicillium can thrive in low-humidity environments, which allows them to colonize not only stored food products, but also often grow in indoor environments. According to the CDC, the most common indoor molds are Cladosporium, Penicillium, Aspergillus, and Alternaria. Penicillium spores are often present in the air and dust found in indoor environments. Mold spores may enter an indoor environment from the outside through open doorways, windows, and heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems with outdoor air intakes. Spores in the air outside also attach themselves to people and animals, making clothes, shoes, bags, and pets convenient vehicles for carrying the fungi indoors. When mold spores settle on places where there is excessive moisture, such as where roofs and windows leak, plumbing failures have occurred, or where there has been flooding, they can begin to grow and multiply. Many building materials provide suitable nutrients that encourage mold to grow. Wet cellulose materials, including paper and paper products, cardboard, ceiling tiles, wood, and wood products, are particularly conducive for the growth of some molds, including penicillium. Other materials, such as dust, paints, wallpaper, Insulation materials, drywall, carpet, fabric, and upholstery commonly support mold growth. In addition to causing allergic reactions in many people and potentially acting as an asthma trigger, a number of penicillium species also produce mycotoxins. One species of penicillium has become a growing opportunistic pathogen, particularly for people suffering from AIDS. To learn more about penicillium or other indoor air quality contaminants, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.